Hey everybody, I'm Mrs. Meat Magazine. Subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below. Todos los dominicanos de la República Dominicana comiéndome a mí porque ellos no entienden por qué yo puse la foto de, un, de, de Haití y de la República Dominicana. No sabiendo lo que está pasando en los Estados Unidos, pero quieren hablar su mierda. Porque yo puse eso, pa, ese, ese, um, ese, um, esa foto, porque es unión. Aquí todo el mundo se quiere, quiere hacer unión aquí. Porque aquí, si tú eres un minority, ¿cómo se dice minority? Si tú eres un, un minoridad, si tú eres una minoría aquí, te tratan como mierda. Mexicano, dominicano, et, moreno, afroamericano, haitiano, te tratan lo mismo aquí. La policía trata a uno mal. Tú vives aquí, tú sabes cómo tratan los muchachos dominicanos en el Washington Heights, en el Bronx. La policía no para, no para, no para de estar de, 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 de de acechando. Nada más para meter a uno preso. Pero tú me quieres comer a mí. Pero, y entonces todo el mundo de la República Dominicana no saben lo, lo que yo estoy hablando porque lo que está pasando, está pasando aquí y me quieren comer. Pero es más, yo... Yo voy a, a seguir apoyando al pueblo de Castañuela. Yo, yo voy a hacer algo muy especial con el tío mío que es un médico allá. Pero yo más nunca no regreso a la República Dominicana. Yo más nunca no re regreso a la República Dominicana. Más nunca no voy a hablar de la República Dominicana. I'm tired. Porque yo siempre, yo siempre me siento como... Yo siempre me siento como... Yo siempre representando a la República Dominicana, porque yo amo a la gente dominicana, yo amo ser dominicano. El fuego de, de mi corazón y, y, y como yo actúo, es porque tú sabes, así es que nosotros somos. Pero yo más nunca más, más nunca voy por la República Dominicana, más nunca. Porque lo que ustedes están diciendo, porque ustedes no entienden lo que está pasando en los Estados Unidos y me quieren comer a mí. No, 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 no. no. Translation. I love the BBC. I love that big black bleep. That's all she said. So the following news article is courtesy of MTO News. Shout out to MTO News, my favorite blog, other than T Tenders. They're a tie. And Tiffany Brockworth posted this article June 18th of 2020 titled Cardi B. I'm through with Dominican Republic over Latino black racism. One of the most popular artists from the Dominican Republic is calling out the extreme racism that she's seen from her own people against blacks. Cardi took to Instagram yesterday to call out her own people, Media Takeout News has learned, and this morning she's facing a backlash. In the video, which you can see above, Cardi calls out Dominicans for their denial of their African ancestry. Cardi told her fans in Spanish that too many Dominican Americans think they are, quote, better or, quote, different from blacks, especially Haitians. Cardi pointed out that most police officers can't tell the difference between most Dominicans and black people and treat them equally poorly. And Cardi also pointed out that Haitian people and Dominican people are one. Cardi then stated <laughs> that she may be, quote, through with the Dominican Republic because of their poor treatment of Haitians. Many Haitians are praising Cardi for her stance and many Dominicans are upset with Cardi calling them out. Cardi, real name Belkalis Marlinas Almanzar is a rapper, songwriter, television personality, and actress. Born in Manhattan and raised in the Bronx, New York City, she became an internet celeb celebrity after several of her posts and videos became popular on Vine and Instagram. From 2015 to 2017, she appeared as a regular cast member on VH1 reality television series, Love & Hip Hop New York, to follow her music aspirations and eventually became one of the biggest artists in the world. How about intergalactically? Listen, Cardi B, do you have anything to say now that I read that article to give people some clarity about what you were talking about? Yeah, hold up. I got something to say up in here. Thumbs up, subscribe, click all notifications, and make sure you post a comment below. You know what I'm saying? 
Listen, y'all, all stupidity aside, I have one more video to show you guys of Cardi B speaking Spanish. I don't speak Spanish for nothing. Only thing I know is how to get some draws in Spanish. That's about it. So make sure you let me know in the comment section what she's saying in the second video. Because I know somebody speak a, speak a Spanish that <laughs> watches my videos. And you can tell me better than I can try to translate it for myself. Because I'll ruin whatever she said. So I'm going to play the second video for y'all. Before I go, click the thumbs up button. Click the subscribe button. Click all notifications and make sure you post a comment below even if you're just saying hi. What do you guys think about it? Do you think that Dominicans are, you know, uh, that a lot of Dominicans are not so friendly when it comes to Haitians and blacks in general? Do you think that there's any sort of issue here? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, before I go, I just want to say this. Man, like this is just reminding me of why I have fell in love with Cardi B years ago. Now, I know I've been hating on her recently, but I never said she wasn't fine. She's fine and she's pro-black. So, you know, I love me some Cardi B as far as that's concerned. I, I love all of that about her, all how, how pretty she is and, and, and some of her political talking points and stances. I will give her credit for those things. And this just reminded me of why I wanted to give her a half black baby, but Offset beat me to the punch. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. Oh, and before I go, if you're a Dominican woman, I just want to tell you that you are wonderful to me because Lord knows I love Dominican women and, and Hispanic women in general. Shout out to all my Hispanic girls. Shout out to my Cubans, my Chileans, my Puerto Ricans, of course, my Dominicanas, my Mexicans, all you beautiful, lovely Latina ladies because Lord knows I love Latinas. Yes, I do. All right, y'all. MAGA. <laughs> Y porque tú no hablas, y porque tú hablas el inglés, what's up? No te dan un trabajo y tú tienes que tra trabajar en McDonald's, hacer taxita, un Uber. Y ustedes están aquí, like, oh, oh, ella está hablando de, de, de unión porque ella no sabe la historia, ella no sabe que los haitianos invadieron la República Dominicana con los franceses por 40 años, nos trataban mal. Yo entiendo eso, pero ya la cosa pasó. Ya Haití está en Haití, ya la República Dominicana es la República Dominicana. Es un país en mitad y siempre va a ser así, pero hay que tener la paz. Hay que tratar a los haitianos bien como gente también. Porque tú sabes lo que ves todo. Dios lo ve todo. Y cuando, cuando el país se comienza a sentir muy presumido y opresar a la otra gente, Dios ve eso y castiga. Diga, el país entero, te, te mando un huracán y te rompe todo. So, eso es mi problema. No, yo no estoy diciendo like, oh, que se convierta en un país. Yo estoy, yo, yo estoy diciendo que hay que hacer la paz. Los haitianos y los dominicanos se llevan bien en este país porque ellos saben que a los dos, no importa si tú eres haitiano o dominicano, te trata como una mierda. Aquí sí. Por eso que cuando yo, cuando un haitiano eh, ve a un dominicano, un dominicano ve a un haitiano en este país, se dice, nosotros nos decimos primo, porque somos primos, porque estamos en una misma isla. Los haitianos y los dominicanos aquí no tienen tiranía. So, ¿cuál, es, ¿Cuál es el problema en este país? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Ah? Entonces me quieren comer a mí como si yo soy burra. O como si yo estoy estúpida. Ya te pueden ver. Adiós.